wonder why women my age dye our hair purple or blue. And this video is to ask the question of how do you get around corporate rules? Or are you retired? Because those of us that have to work within the oh natural colors of the corporate world, but are dying to dye our hair, the blues and the greens and the pinks and the purples and the, the yellows and the oranges and the rainbows and the mermaids, how do we get around it? That would be much more helpful than telling people to fuck off. How about you evolve? So for starters, I did edit her video to take out all the dead air. And since I can't stitch a stitch, this is how we're gonna get at it. In her caption, she said, sometimes you need to check Gen X. She also used the hashtags privilege. Really? So this is you checking Gen X, huh? I need to evolve, huh? Sabotage, Sin City. It seems you missed the point of my video. See, I was addressing the misogyny and the judgment of women my age who choose to color their hair, whatever color they want. I was addressing the stereotypes of women who choose to color their hair a color that does not comply with the social norms, or in this case, age-appropriate norms. Woman to woman. When another woman raises her voice and stands up for other women who can't stand up for themselves or don't have a voice, you either join them in solidarity or you sit the fuck down and say thank you. And as for your corporate and retirement reference, I worked in the corporate world for 26 years, so I get the struggle, but I'm not retired. Oh, contraire. I own my own business, a very successful 100% female owned business. That's right. I'm a boss bitch. I do what I want now. I don't think evolution's a problem for me.